Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, Case 84. Here we have a stir sagittal image through the ankle. And the high yield question we have is, what is the likely ideology of the findings shown? Is it male sex, obesity, old age, or Caucasian? What's the likely ideology of the findings shown? So I want to come back to the image because this is a great case we have actually three major findings here. Notice that the distal Achilles tendon is somewhat thickened. You know, the AP dimension is quite large, probably measuring more than eight millimeters. And there's also intermediate signal within the tendon. This suggests tendinopathy or degeneration of the tendon. We also have fluid in the retrocalcaneal bursa, suggesting retrocalcaneal bursitis. We actually have a little bit of fluid in the pre-Achilles bursa as well, but the major finding for this case would be retrocalcaneal bursitis with fluid right here. And finally, we have a prominent posterior superior process of the calcaneus. Notice this spike uh, here with the posterior superior process of the calcaneus. This is suggestive of a haglin deformity and the triad of these findings of Achilles tendinopathy, retrocalcaneal bursitis, and a haglin deformity is all suggestive of a haglin syndrome. And we know that obesity is one of the risk factors for the Hagelin syndrome making B or obesity the appropriate answer here. We can see here again, just to show you, this here is the Achilles tendinopathy. This here is the, uh, you know, retrocalcaneal bursitis. And then of course we have the prominent posterior superior process here of the calcaneus suggesting the Hagelin deformity. So it's these three findings that suggest the Hagelin syndrome. And some people get confused about, well, what is the difference between the Haglin deformity and the Haglin syndrome? Well, the Haglin syndrome is the triad of findings. It represents, uh, you know, the combination of this, the Haglin deformity, the prominent posterior superior process of the calcaneus, but there's also retrocalcaneal bursitis and then Achilles tendinopathy or thickening and degeneration of the distal Achilles tendon. Now, this often presents with pain with plantar flexion, or sometimes patients feel a lump in the back of their heel because of the you know, retrocalcaneal bursitis or the prominent Haglin deformity. And this, again, is common, particularly in females that wear high heels, wear high heel shoes. And often, if you stop wearing high heels, this gets better. But also, being overweight, obese, uh, being in middle age, these all predispose to the Haglin syndrome. Now, again, this is treated fairly conservatively. We often just tell patients to lose weight or stop wearing high heels. And then the whole syndrome gets better. Like the tendinopathy of the Achilles tendon decreases and the retrocalcaneal bursitis also decreases. Now, if that doesn't work, sometimes and very rarely we surgically excise the Haglin deformity. We shave it off to make it more flat. And sometimes we can often do a debridement of the abnormal distal Achilles tendon as well as, you know, last line therapy. So hope that was clear in elucidating the Haglin syndrome. Thank you so much for your attention. Please tune in next week for another high yield MSK unknown case.